Hello and welcome to day six of our 40 Days with Jesus. I'm reading the book from Dominic Smart with the permission of the publishers. Please excuse my voice, there's a flu going around the area and I've managed to catch it with a vengeance. But as let, let us press on, see if we can keep up with the schedule. 40 Days with Jesus. Day six. I read from Mark 2, verse 13 through until 3, verse 6. Once again, Jesus went out beside the lake. A large crowd came to him, and he began to teach them. As he walked along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, Jesus told him, and Levi got up and followed him. While Jesus was having dinner at Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were eating with him and his his disciples, for there were many who followed him. When the teachers of the law, who were Pharisees, saw him eating with the sinners and tax collectors, they asked his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said to them, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Now Jesus' disciples and the Pharisees were fasting. Some people came and asked Jesus, How is it that John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees are fasting, but you are not? Jesus answered, How can the guests of the bridegroom fast while he is with them? They cannot, so long as they have him with them. But the time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them, and on that day they will fast. No one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth onto an old garment. If he does, the new piece will pull away from the old, making a tear worse. And no one pours new wine into old wineskins. If he does, the wine will burst the skins and both the wine and the wineskins will be ruined. No, he pours new wine into new skins. One Sabbath, Jesus was going through the cornfields, and as he, his disciples walked along, they began to pick some ears of corn. The Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He answered, have you never read what David did when he and his companions were hungry and in need? In the days of Abiathar, the high priest, he entered the house of God and ate the consecrated bread, which is lawful only for the priests to eat. He also gave some to his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord, even of the Sabbath. Mark 3. Another time he went into the synagogue, and a man with a shriveled hand was there. Some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus, so they watched him closely to see if he would heal him on the Sabbath. Jesus said to the man with the shriveled hand, Stand up in front of everyone. Then Jesus asked them, which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they remained silent. He looked around at them in anger and deep distress at their stubborn hearts, said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was completely restored. Then the Pharisees went out and began to plot with Herodians how they might kill Jesus. Amen. Amen. Day 6, Mark 2, verses 13 to 3, 6. The King's Conflict, Part 2. Jesus' enemies got even angrier. He had already claimed authority to forgive sins. Here he told the Pharisees, God loves sinners. 
the Pharisees despised sinners, despised sinners and tax collectors who worked with the hated Romans. Jesus said that it is right to be joyful with Jesus. The Pharisees had no real joy in God. Jesus said that they were not the way the future of God's work is going, and then he told them that they didn't actually understand the Old Testament at all. Jesus was very courageous. He was on a mission to save sinners. He would not be put off by the devil or by those who rejected him. Dominic's Reflection Why Jesus' disciples didn't fast? Jesus' disciples didn't need to fast because they were with God's Son himself. They had reason to be joyful and not to be sad and solemn. Jesus used the description of a wedding feast to explain this. When the bridegroom arrives, it is time to rejoice. It is the same way with Jesus' disciples. In the same way, Jesus' disciples were to rejoice because he was with them. Jesus had promised to be with his people always and never to forsake them. So all who believe in him should be rejoicing. Amen. A Bible verse from John 15 before the prayer. Remember the words I have spoken to you. No servant is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they obey my teachings, they will obey yours also. John 15 verse 20. Let us pray. Lord, give me courage to keep following Jesus, even if it means opposition. Amen. Amen. This is the end of the reading for day six. Thank you.